If you're thinking of buying a home battery, one of the many choices you've got to make is, do you go for a modular battery like this SunGrow one? Or do you go for a non-modular battery similar to the Tesla Powerwall? One reason you might choose a modular battery is the promise of easily expanding your storage later on. The manufacturers claim that it's almost plug and play. You just get a new battery module, drop it on, and you're ready to go. Well, we're here to test that out. About a year ago, I bought this 12.8 kilowatt hour modular SunGrow battery. That's got four battery modules, 3.2 kilowatt hours each. I've realized after a year, I actually want more storage. So I've bought one more module. So that's gonna take me up from 12.8 to 16 kilowatt hours. The electrician's here, the battery module's here. We're gonna put the stopwatch on him to see if it really does take a matter of minutes to install or if it takes hours and hours. Because after all, I'm the one paying for the electrician's time. So this is Don from DQ Electrical, whose company is doing the install. Don, you've been installing modular batteries like the SunGrow and the BYD for a while now. Are you a fan of the architecture? Yes, Finn, we're a massive fan of the modular architecture. It gives our customers the absolute freedom to simply add on extra modules as they require. What's, what's your best guess? How long is it going to take today? Oh, uh, Today, adding one module is probably going to take us about an hour to, to get that done. So I'm adding one module today, 3.2 kilowatt hours. But if sure. I wanted, say, three modules, how long would that take? Yeah, so adding one module or three modules, it's pretty much the same amount of time. It's literally taking the head unit off, dropping the new modules in, and then replacing the head unit and commissioning. Um, so you're probably talking an extra 30 seconds per module. On this particular uh, model, you can go up to uh, 25 kilowatt hours worth of storage, which is eight modules. Yeah, cool. And that's going to be more than enough for most homes. Definitely. Most homes, the average home we see around that 16 kilowatt hours worth of storage generally does it. If this wasn't modular and I wanted to add a second battery, how long would that take an electrician? To add a second battery, you're probably talking six to eight hours worth of work to, to put in a full another battery with cabling, wiring, and going modular from the beginning allows you to have everything in situ, ready to go, and then it's simply just dropping extra batteries on top of the stack to get that desired kilowatt hour storage that you're, you're looking for. Cool, well let's see if you're right and if we can get this module on in under an hour. I'm sure we will. <laughs> All right, let's put these boys to the test. I'll start the stopwatch. And we're done. 33 minutes later, I've got my extra battery module installed. I've now got a 16 kilowatt hour battery. It's all commissioned, it's all tested, it's ready to go, and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs>